Hey, what's going on, family? Uh, Michael Cabradia and my daughter uh, here, Zayla Cabradia, right here in San Diego, California. And guess what? We have been reading through this book right here, 100 Simple Secrets of Happy People. Uh, welcome back and uh, hope uh, you are enjoying the series. We're going to read every single chapter in here. And the chapters are only two pages long, less than two pages. So it's really easy to, and simple to read through. And what we've been reading is we've been reading a chapter every time we set up a video. And we encourage comments, we encourage reaction, we encourage you sharing what your thoughts are every time we read through one of these chapters. So feel free to comment in the comment section. And so we're gonna read chapter 46. And we're gonna make some comments, maybe pose a couple questions, and we'll continue this conversation. So. Chapter 46 is think in concrete terms. We need to be able to measure our progress to know that things are improving. You can't accomplish an abstract goal because you'll never be sure if you're finished or not. I want to be a better worker. I want to be a better parent. I want to be a better friend. Many of us have these kinds of hopes, but they're vague hopes. The problem with these kinds of ideas is that they are not specific. They include no step-by-step -step directions or and no outcomes. You want to be a better worker? Well, what does that mean? How does someone actually do that? How will you know if you've actually succeeded or haven't succeeded? StarQuest is a consulting firm in Houston that teaches goal setting, specifically how to make your goals clear and direct. They advise you to think about what you care about, and then think about what you can actually do to actually accomplish that. You might set uh, as your goals, I want to finish this weekly report an hour faster. I want to make this task 5% cheaper. I want to have dinner with my family one more night per week. I want to make it to all of my daughter's soccer games. Here, your goals come with built-in directions. These are goals that you can work toward and successfully complete. Completing any goal we set for ourselves improves our confidence and satisfaction and steadies us for the future. Perceptions that life is meaningful and therefore worthwhile increase 16% with concrete thinking. Wow, that's a really, really good one. And remember, we're talking about habits that happy people have uh, in order to be happier, right? And so um, I'm going to share with you a couple things that I think about. So one of the things that I think about, and years ago, we had a, a business success coach who taught us, uh, you know, many, many different things. And one of the things that he retaught us and solidified within us was the setting of goals. But the way that he taught us to set them was uh, there was one aspect of it, which was called SMART goals. SMART is an acronym that stands for specific measurable, attainable, realistic, and there has to be some type of time element attached to it. So when you're setting goals, you want your goals to be specific. Uh, you want them to be measurable, but like you can measure them in regards to quantity. Uh, you want them to be attainable. You wanna really feel in your mind that this is something that I can do, something that I can attain. You want it to be realistic, right? Like for the time frame that that's given. Right. Uh, a lot of us, what we do is we set up 10 year goals like in the future, 10 years from now, this is what I want to do or this is where I want to be. This is how much I want to have an X, Y, Z. And we forget uh, to set up a roadmap to that 10 years and have a five year vision, annual goals, monthly, uh, you know, uh, targets and the even weekly targets. And then our daily actions that will lead to that because our daily actions will lead to our you know, monthly uh, you know, checkpoints, our annual goals, and then even our vision that we have for ourselves five years, 10 years from now, right? And so whenever, what I've learned through that is that you always want to have something that's quantifiable, right? Like I'll give you an example. One of the first times I did a really, really simple goal, and my goal was this week, I want to go <laughs> the goal was uh, this week, I want to go to the gym five days out of the next seven. Like that was my simple goal. Like I just wanna go to the gym at least, right? Obviously I can work out when I get there, but that was my first goal. And guess what? When I went to the gym that week, the first time, checked it off, time number one. Went to the gym the second time, 
time number two, then three, then four, then five. And then at the end of that week, and this is what was so exciting. At the end of that week, I looked at my goal and my goal was to go to the gym five times that week. And I accomplished those five times that week. And guess what? Where does confidence come from? And this is what I, I learned a long time ago. And I still think about it often today. But confidence comes from um, you know, uh, success in a proven system. It also comes from doing what you said you were going to do. And when you have that feeling of doing what you said you were going to do, and you have some success in regards to attaining a goal, however small that goal is, because you start with the smaller goals, which will lead to the larger goals, right? And that week I was like, wow, I achieved this goal. And on my goal sheet, there was a, a, a date achieved on the piece of paper and it said, what date did you achieve this goal? And so when we talk about this chapter and we're talking about concrete things, we set a goal, we were able to track it concretely because I put a, not, a number next to it, something concrete. And at the end of attaining that goal, I felt great about myself because once we attained it, I was able to check it off a list and I was able to measure progress even if it was just in that week. So if you have a goal that'll take a month, a year, five years, you definitely want to make sure that you're able to check the progress during that period of time and it'll feel great as you're accomplishing that goal. Last thing I want to share with you is this. In regards to tracking, I personally, uh, you know, a couple of years ago, I started tracking all of our finances, right? And it's like a game, you know, uh, increasing your net worth. Just always remember, my mentor says that net worth will always beat net income. Net worth is more important than only just net income because as you focus on your net worth, that's what you want to focus on as you're building wealth. And we have been able to quantify that because we've looked at the numbers and we continuously look on the numbers on a daily, on a weekly, on a monthly, and an annual basis to see where we're at as our net worth is growing. That's the other thing I think of. So what are your comments? Are there things in your life that you continue to track? Are there things in your life that you need to track? Remember, whatever it is that we focus on grows. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll see you on the next video. Who knows? Zayla might be there too. Take care, and let's both say God bless you. Take care.